The part I'm machining is relatively deep, yet as you can see the length of my tool is quite short. So in order to avoid a holder collision, I've switched on automatic collision checking. Therefore, when I generate the raster toolpath, Powermill checks for holder collisions and removes any toolpath which may collide. So, the result is a toolpath which doesn't have any collisions. Unfortunately, it doesn't machine the whole part. So another method is to use 4 or 5 axis automatic collision avoidance. Here I'm going to limit the rotary axis to 4 axis by using towards a line. So if I key in the datum of the line and the direction of the line, just unshade the part, there you can see the line. So what happens is when Powermill detects that a collision will occur, it starts to tilt the tool towards the line, only enough to avoid the part by a user-defined clearance. So let's generate the toolpath again. This time much better because we've managed to machine the whole part. That was the old toolpath, this is the new. So again you can clearly see that we've machined the whole part. So how are we able to do this without colliding? Let's animate it. You will see that Powermill automatically tilts the tool in four axis in order to avoid the holder collision. 